Looking for the most fun you've ever had watching a game show? Well, come on in. We've got five wonderful stars. Vicki Lawrence. Eddie Cibrian. Judy Zanuda. Great color on you. Thank you. I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something. Someone found. Judy Tenuta, oh, someone no. dug this up. Oh no! Judy went to some six. Whoa. Judy okay. has an album. Well, oh. that's from ten years ten ago. Ten years ago is her comedy album. Look at me, I look like Linda Ronstadt on you. Do. What's the name of the album, Judy? Buy this pig. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a delicate flower. I try to be the at all times, just like my virgins over here. <laughs> If, you, um, if you're not familiar with Judy Tenuta, she's not just another pretty face. She's uh, been doing stand-up for 10, 15 years, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe only 10. Right, Ben? Yeah. yeah. But if you ever she see her 16, up uh, right? anywhere around the country, go see her. She's a very funny comic. You want to oh. catch her act? Yeah. We got Eddie Sibrion from Sunset Beach. We got Brad Moore from General Hospital. Come on. Get a shot of Brad. Let's not leave Brad up. Get a shot. A nice close up. And... There you go. Thank you. This is uh, Tamara Sternberg. Tamara, like camera, right? Absolutely. Tamara Sternberg, originally from Dallas, Texas. You watch Ooh. us out there in KDAF. Thank you, Dallas. Yeah. I love this. She spent two and a half years on a ship with 150 men. That's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you do on the ship? I'm in the Navy. I'm an electronics technician. I fix guidance missile systems, communication. Wow. Missiles? Okay. <laughs> so let me get this right. She fixed the guidance missile systems on 150 men, as I think as I say. Am I paraphrasing? I'm paraphrasing. Uh, sorry about that, yeah. Jim Cash here from Virginia enjoys gardening, collects uh, over 250 Santas. That's correct. Oh, yeah, are those, uh, is that a collectible money-making deal for you? Uh, I just collect them because I like all the different ones. Sure. I have some that are like five, five feet tall. I have one that's about two inches high. There you go. <laughs> there, well, there, therein lies Don't the rub. Do it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Welcome, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. Camera, I don't know what that means. Don't go there. I'm going to read a sentence. It's kind of blank in it. Fill in the blank with the same word or phrase. Our stars do. We'll be glad to give you a point okay. player at the end of two rounds of the most points. Gets a shot at 5,000. Good luck to both of you. Jim, Tamara, take a look. I'm kind of over. <laughs> Will he or won't he? Will he or won't Of all the bucking luck. <laughs> what do you want, Tamara, like camera? Uh, Will he or won't he? Will he or won't he? Those categories could almost be interchangeable, couldn't they? <laughs> Here's a valuable piece of match game advice. Oh, good. Yeah. Do let Willie Nelson help you with your singing. Don't let Willie Nelson help you with your blank. <laughs> we love Willie, don't we? We love Willie. <laughs> I really love it, you know. I love Nelson. Hey, Paul, do you have those braids with you? This would be an appropriate way to finish off this question. Paul Bolin is our announcer. He does a lot of impressions on the break, and one of them is Willie, and he's got a prop. Just yeah. toss it here. It's good. This will be an appropriate way to read it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's that looks good, Mike. Here's a valuable piece of math game advice. I'd sing it, but we'd have to pay it. You know what I mean? Do let Willie Nelson help you with your singing. Don't let Willie Nelson help you with your... Hair. With, uh, with your hair. There you go. <laughs> he, he, he's got weird hair. You give it away. Oh, you give it away. You sexy. You look very sexy as a blonde, Michael. Thank you. You do. I'm just saying. Have you ever been a blonde? Uh, 
Uh, no, never been a blonde. Yeah. I've always been this color. Ah. Yeah, it's all natural. Ah, very ah. nice. Hey, here's a piece of match game information. Let him help you with your singing, but don't let Willie Nelson help you with your... I said his, your tax. Oh, there's a problem there, yeah, because he, uh, yeah, he got in trouble. Tight. Yeah, I got in a little trouble there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, Eddie, don't let him help you with your <laughs> tax as well. He had a little run in there with the government there, yeah. Yeah. Although he does have, you know, a hair that would be questionable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of you look, Daddy, you do look good like that. I have to I'll say. I'll draw it out on our break. Uh, yeah. yeah, I We're think... looking for, hopefully you said hair. Yeah. Oh, I know. And Tamara has such beautiful hair, doesn't oh, she? she does. Yeah. Little virgin. <laughs> but, you know, oh, yeah, they're not going to give anything away. <laughs> but, you know, I just thought of, you know, taxes. Taxes, <laughs> yeah, he was in the news with the taxes. I'm sorry. Looking for hair. Two things he has all trouble with, wives and taxes. Oh, he divorced his wives, uh, yeah, not a man. Brett Ball. Well, first of all, uh, you and me make big wampum, I think. Why's that? You look so Indian right now, yeah, you know? Me, me know how, me want him chance. Native yeah. American <laughs> bed partner. <laughs> Jackson. Oh, I am right. sorry that doesn't match. Oh, too bad. On the ship. You know. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, away from the news or something like that. Didn't, didn't work out for you there, but Jim, we turn to you. Of all the bucking luck, here we go. <laughs> of all the bucking luck. Everything at Rodeo Rick's house is inspired by the rodeo. That's why guests can sit on the world's only bucking blank. <laughs> Everything at Rodeo Rick's house is inspired by the rodeo. That's why guests can sit on the world's only bucking blank. That could be a fun house. There you go. May have to pay him a visit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mickey! Oh, Mickey's getting sick. Done here, Jim. Kathy? Everything at Rodeo Rick's house is inspired by the rodeo. That's why guests can sit on the world's only bucking couch. Bucking couch. All right. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Excellent answer, Jim. Here is a veritable plethora of good answers. There are many things you can sit at a Rick's house. There are many places to get bucked at his house. That's right. I thought, I thought just the most uncomfortable would be the toilet. The bucking toilet, never pop in a bucking toilet. I guess you guys don't have to worry about that. You would just stand there and try to hit it. Yeah. We, of course, just have to ride it. Yeah. So, Eddie, we're looking for the bucking couch. I think he likes to ride the bucking pot. The bucking pot toilet. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. Judy, bucking. We always try to take the high road up here, yeah. don't we, Jungle Jim? But somehow we end up in the toilet. I Body. think. Body. Seemed like the fun answer there, bucking toilet. What'd you say, Nell? Yeah, that's the way I went. Bucking toilet. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Tamara couldn't be happier about this outcome. What'd you say, Brad? No, I got to go, too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, score is zero to zero. Why don't we just start all over again? We'll kind of reinduce ourselves, except now when we come back, everything is double. We'll take a break. I gotta get rid of that static cling. Right? Yeah. That's a horrible hand. Hey, that's not a... Hey, you can start a new practice with him, Daddy. There, there you go. First position, second position. I used to, date a, oh I used to date a dancer. Look, look at that. Later. There you go. First position. Uh, huh? First position. Yeah. Oh, second? Yeah. Look first yeah. second. No. Where's yeah. second, Michael? Uh, I, uh, no, that's out, out. I don't know. Out. There's second. All right, whatever. Sort of. Very limber. Oh, yeah. Tamara and Jim. Less about me, more about you. You guys have nothing. Here we go. Yeah. Round two. Two points every time you make a match. It's like starting over, so good luck all over again. Here we go. Check your, lo uh, ch chick. Check your local listings. <laughs> check your local listings and that's all, folks. What would you like? Oh, Jim, I think I'll, Jim. Jim's going to go. I think I'll go with check your local listings. Check your local listings. Come on, Jim. Okay. Come, on. Come on, Jim. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, baby. This is a very funny question. Buy the premise in this okay. and you're going to buy the bit. We can't wait to laugh. Here we go. <laughs> at the hen house, at the hen house, all the chicks <laughs> like to sit around and watch American Barn Stand. Okay. Starring Dick Blank. <laughs> At the hen house, 
<laughs> All the chicks like to sit around and watch American Barn Stand. By the premise, laugh your butt off. <laughs> Starring <laughs> Dick Blank. Got it, got it, got it. We should needlepoint that and hang it somewhere. Isn't that great? We'll send By it over the to premise, Dick. Laugh your butt off. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Jim. Slam dunk, baby. At the hen house, all the chicks like to sit around and watch American barn stand starring Dick Rooster. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> Michael, are you I okay? I want you to win, Jim. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. You know, as our dear friend Rondell would say, Jim, do you watch the oh, show? Oh, Jim, I, I'm falling for you, buddy. Yes, I a Mar uh, American uh, barn stand starring Dick who? Yeah, and we love Dick Clark. Yeah. Dick Clark. Dick Clark. <laughs> oh, play on the words. Dick Clark. Dick Clark. Not a match, Eddie. Mr. Clark. Dick Clark. Judy. I think Jungle Jim needs a song, doesn't he? You're kind of sad, aren't you, Jim? Gotcha. A little bit. With a little luck, we can all uh -oh. sing like Dick Clark. Dick Clark. <laughs> You know, maybe we'll get a surprise here, Jim. Don't give up faith. Maybe Rooster's here? Jim, I oh. like you. So cute. He's a cute man oh. that didn't come up with cluck. We're looking for cluck. Oh, he's out of cluck. Oh, I thought that was a slam dunk, Jim. I'm sorry. All right, Tamara, like camera, let's see if you have any better luck here. Under Tats All, folks, Webster's. Webster's has a new family dictionary that is so careful about clean language, it's even replaced the phrase tit for tat with the phrase blank for tat. <laughs> All you need to do is match one star. <laughs> Big laugh too. Webster's has a new family dictionary that's so careful about clean language, it's replaced the phrase tit for tat with the phrase blank for tat. Oh, oh. Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Tamra, Tamra, oh. Tamra. Ooh, you hedger. Here we go. Tamra, Tamra. Webster's has a new family dictionary. Don't shake your head now like that. <laughs> it's so careful about clean language. It's, uh, it's even replaced the phrase tit for tat with the phrase blank for tat. Cat for tat? Cat for <laughs> tat. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for a tiebreaker. Come on. Well, no, I don't want to sit. Oh, we're looking for cat for tat. Show me. I don't I, I think Breast for tat is a little cleaner than tit for tat. What'd you say, Eddie? <laughs> Booby, not a match. Judy, what'd you say? Breast, not a match. We're looking for cat. Now. Breast, boob, not a match. And breast, not a match. We have ourselves a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, it's like starting all over again. I think I've heard that before. I'm going to read a question, all right? Uh, you guys, you guys fill in that question with a different answer. It has a very simple uh, response here, hopefully for both of you. Stars are going to write down their responses. The first one to match a star is going to win the game. Wes, set me for a tie. All right. Get your pens ready, get your pens ready. Your best response to this. You ready? Oh, yeah. Listen up. Quiet in the audience. Blank jacket. Blank jacket. J-A-C-K-E-T. Blank jacket. Now, they're going to write down their best response. Blank jacket. They've written down different responses. Now, this is how it works. The first time you match a star, you will win, whether it's Tamara or Jim. Kind of rhyme there, didn't it? Your best response to jacket is? Yellow. Yellow jacket. Going through all the colors, all right? Jim, your best response to blank jacket is suit, suit. jacket. Let's go through the row. The way this works is the first time you match a star will determine our winner. Vicki, did you say <laughs> suit or yellow? <laughs> I'll give you a buck if you did. I said straight jacket, not a match. <laughs> Eddie, we're looking for suit or yellow. Tamara, let's just end it. Oh! Oh, my God! What a surprise! Jim, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. It was nice meeting you. We're going to give you a city play made by Iowa. Tamara, come here, young lady. 
out of nowhere, and have the second base will come back and see if she can get $5,000. So go away. Uh, you want to say hi to Eddie? I bet you do. Oh. The match game and Michael Berger. Oh, you know, well, we got Tamara here. This doesn't happen very often, but Tamara has wound up in this spot by uh, by getting a zero. She wound up here actually not scoring in the front <laughs> part of the game, but she won the tiebreaker, and that's, that's that made the difference. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, Tamara, take a look. Audience match. Hundred people polled. Best response to this. Poker blank. Poker blank. Okay. You got a hundred dollar response. You have got your two fifty. And you got your five hundred dollars. That's the number one answer given out of a hundred people polled. Pick. <laughs> bless you. God bless you. Yeah, it's all right. Pick three stars to help you come up with blanker or uh, blanker <laughs> poker blank. Eddie. Oh yeah. Help me. Yes, Eddie. Poker player. Poker player. Okay. Well, Vicky. 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 Uh, I'm gonna say poker chip. Poker chip. You get one more person to help you there. And now. Now? Poker face. Poker face. Poker chip. Poker player. Poker face. Pick one of those or one on your own. I think I'm going to go with Vicky and do poker chip. Poker chip. <laughs> See what you got here, baby. $100 response. Is it poker chip? Yeah. Nope, it's poker face. That's what Nell yeah. said. All right. Is the chip under the $250 response? Let's see. Yay! It's right there. Biggest okay. player. What do you think, folks? What's under the number one response, the 500? Game. Poker player? Poker game. Poker game. Oh, yeah, man, did you luck out? It wasn't there at all. All right, so you got the 250. You're playing for 2,500. Any star you want can come down and help you. Who would you like to choose? I'm going to go with Eddie. Come on down, Eddie. <laughs> we'll find out if Eddie can help Tamara get $2,500. Close captioning is sponsored in part by... The Midland Wonder Month. Extra dry with a twist. At the risk of making all the other women in the audience jealous, it is Eddie and Tamara. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 250 bucks is what you got. 2,500 bucks is what you want. And maybe Eddie can help you get there. You guys have to come up with this. Square blank. Square blank. Why don't you take a moment and look into each other's eyes. Maybe there's something you can mm -hmm. send. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both nodding. No, That's a good you know, sign. Right? I know. You know? Start Absolutely. right. All right. Square blank. Eddie's done. Your best response for 2,500 bucks to square... Not. Square not. I think you're thinking of a ship, maybe? Trying mm. up yeah. <laughs> not. Here's how it works. If Eddie said square not, you've got $2,500. I don't even know how to tie a square knot. Oh. Square I said dance. dance. Square dance. Come on. I'm sorry it didn't work out. You got uh, yourself two hundred fifty dollars, and we're going to give you that uh, Gina TV twenty-five inch. Nice meeting you. Thanks very much. I'm Michael Berger. See you next time on Match Day. Bye bye, everybody. Want to improve your child's reading? He grins a lot. He kisses cats. <laughs> Try the all-new Hooked on Phonics. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Make a statement about the goings-on in Washington with the Bill Clinton Growing Nose Wristwatch. The nose actually triples in length every 10 seconds. Call 1-800-30-WATCH now.
Hooked on Phonics. So effective, 9 in 10 parents surveyed say it works. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. 1-800-ABCDEFG.